get um, <coughs> pains through my leg quite often. Like I'll be sitting here like this and be fine. Yeah. And all the time it's like real sharp pain. All right. Okay. Could be anywhere, like from my ankle, my calf, my knee, all the way up to my through my hip, my groin. Cool. Well, that's weird, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what doctor said about that? Um, I've had MRIs on my whole leg, my knee, my hip, my back. They can't find anything. They can't find anything. Um, from when it started, well, when I think it started was um, when I was playing rugby and I got a good whack in my leg here. Yeah. And I, um, I bruised from my hip to my toes. Right. Had a massive hemorrhage. Yeah. And, um, it never really seemed to go away. I have a bit of a lump in here, and I'll send doctors about it, but they they can't they can't find it. Right. Okay. So that's where I'm going to start first because that usually. Usually what happens is you are the expert, you know how your body feels and the words that you use are really significant. Um, so if somebody says to me, I've got a pain in my back and I say, what does it feel like? And they say, well, it sounds that it feels like a toothache pain. I'll check if they've just had dental work because you can have dental work and it give you backache. Yeah? Your teeth, there's some work done by a guy called Dr. Weston Price back in the 1940s. He was the head of the American Dental Association and he found a link between <coughs> root canals and different kinds of diseases. So if somebody had got liver cancer or liver disease, um, the, there'd be a root canal on the meridian of the liver. Wow. Yeah. And so what he did was to put it to the test, he'd remove the tooth that had the root canal that was on the liver meridian and the liver would return to health. And then he took a bit of that tooth, put it under the skin of a rabbit, and the rabbit would develop liver disease. Wow. Isn't that cool? And then all that, that research that he did, and he was the head of the American Dental Association, it all suddenly didn't get publicised because there's a lot of money in root canals. So if you are ever having a root canal, do look up Dr. Weston Price and find out and get yourself a very, very, very good dentist, one that's going to make sure that all the bacteria is dealt with, because if they leave any bacteria in there, it becomes anaerobic when they've done a root canal, no oxygen, anaerobic, and it's then the most toxic substance known to man. Can't get out this way because you've got a, crowd, a, a root canal there, you've got a tooth there. It's only got one way to go, and that's internally to your internal organs. Yeah, so have a look, Dr. Weston Price. All right, so when you say you think it goes back to that rugby, I think you're right. I think you're right. Now, any sensation yet on this side? Yeah, a little bit of tingling coming in. Bit of tingling coming in. All right, and I'm just going to get down here because we know this is a physical thing, and so um, what we should be able to do, we should be able to do, is remove the lump. Yeah? Because if we can remove the lump, and if that's the lump and that's the block, then Problem solved, eh? It does feel like a lump like when I tense up my carpet, it's like tight lumps. Yeah, you can feel it. Yeah. 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 There we go. Right, so, yeah, there we go. Right. Right, so let's just have a little bit of a recap. Our bodies were made, they're made of energy. The whole of, the whole of creation is made of energy. Your thoughts in your head cause feelings. Some of those feelings you like, you feel them straight away. Some of those feelings you don't like, they can get stuck in the tissues of your body, in your organs, making you suffer dis-ease. Disease? Dis-ease is where you're not at ease. If you've got problems with your bladder, my chances are you've been pissed off about something. If you've got problems with your bowel, you're probably holding on to the old, you know what? Yeah? If you're shouldering responsibilities, you're going to have problems in your shoulders. If you're not standing up for yourself, you're going to have problems with your legs. This one's a little bit different because this is a, an impact injury. And so it went in with some force, and you'd think it has to come out with some force, but that's not true. They can just release it. What's happening for you now, sensation-wise? What can you feel happening? Uh, it's warming up. Now, 
Now, because we have a big group, after this one we're going to do a group healing. So I want you to start thinking about what is it you need healing for. Uh, you can ask for up to three things to be fixed. We are going to sit as a group, I'm going to put some music on, and you will then have the opportunity to everybody to receive healing directly from the entities. There's a whole heap of them working with me tonight. Um, and that's because they normally work with John of God in Brazil, and John of God in Brazil is under house arrest. I'll talk about that a little bit when we're off camera. So John of God is the world's most amazing healer. Uh, he's helped thousands of people. Typically, thousands of people would go to his place in Brazil every week, and he worked tirelessly for 60 years. He's in his 70s now. Tirelessly for humanity to help people get well. Right, now, if you can just flex that foot, as you flex that foot, it'll move the calf as well. How's that feeling as you do that? Yeah, it doesn't really feel tight like it used to. doesn't feel tight like it used to, right. See if you can feel the lump or if it might have gone. That's a little bit of a lump there. Yep, right. Walk around on it a little bit, just see how that feels. <laughs> feels good, mm. yeah. Is there any pain anywhere at the moment? Um, no, not at the moment. No, all right, so just sit, sit down again. All right, what we're going to do is just check in from top to bottom, okay? <coughs> Time will tell you. You have to let us know in a few days. Thank you very much. You're welcome.